Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the iBunty update tool. In the next minutes I want to show you how and where you can get it and how this tool will help you migrate your system safely from one version to another without losing any of your programs or settings. First of all, if your iBunty version is below 1.3 you need to manually download the tool from our homepage. All iBunty versions from 1.3 and above have the tool already integrated in its system and you can directly open it from the launch pad. Since today I want to show you how to migrate from version 1.0 to 1.2, we first go to our homepage iBunchoas.com and then click on Upgrade. Here we scroll down until we see the download link to GitHub. Once GitHub opens you see a little readme instruction which tells you to click on code and then download zip. After that you should extract the program to your desktop and then just run the iBunty update tool start script. So we do now exactly this. First we download it. Then we extract it. And now we start it. Now if it happens like here that your system just opens the file instead of running the script this means you need to change the behavior of your system on how to handle script files. For this you click on files. Then you go to preferences. And then you click on the tab behavior. Here you chose ask what to do and now your system will ask you if it should run script files as a program. If you start the tool for the first time on a version below 1.3 it will tell you that first it will have to install some dependencies in order to accept it. The tool will download the necessary components by itself and after that the terminal window will close automatically. After that you just restart the script again and the tool finally will load and is ready to be used. On the right side you now the six important steps you need to perform to migrate your system correctly and also you see a tooltip on the right side which explains every step. It's important you do these steps one by one, starting with creating a backup which we will do now. So you choose step 1 and then you click on OK. After that the backup program of iBunty will open. If you never use time shift before you first need to go to settings. There you leave the snapshot type to sync. And you make sure that you chose a different storage location for your backup than your system partition. It's best you use a separate hard drive for this. In the Users tab you want to make sure that you change the settings to include all since this will create a complete full backup of all your system files as well as personal data, programs and settings. So if anything will go wrong with this settings you are always able to roll back safely. After you changed the settings you now just click on Create and Time Shift will begin to create your system snapshot. After the snapshot is created you close time shift and go back to the iBunty update tool where you will go on with the second step, save your packages. This is a very important step because if you forget to save your manually installed programs and settings they will get lost after the upgrade. At this point let's do a quick excursion about how you can manually install programs since there are three common ways which we all can back up with our powerful tool. The first option is to download additional software from the software center. For example the tool Audacity which we will do now for demonstration purpose. So we download and launch it very quickly and then I show you that programs you download from the integrated software center are in fact so called snaps. These snaps you normally would lose with an upgrade but our tool can back them up for you. The next method you can use to get additional software to your system is with the terminal by entering sudo apt install and then for example Bracero if you would like to get this burning tool. You see after the installation you can easily start it from the launch pad. 
But after an upgrade it also would be missing. And the last option is if you download a installation package over a deb file and install it directly from there. In our example we use the Atom text editor, which also will appear in the launchpad after installation. We will adjust the screen size now to full screen and the theme setting to a bright theme so that you see that we use different settings now than the default. This is important for later after the upgrade where we show you that with a restore of these programs also all your settings will be back again. So now let's go back to the Ubuntu update tool and perform the second step where we will save the necessary files to restore all these programs no matter if they are installed as snaps from the terminal or as downloaded deb files. You see this terminal will ask you for your password since it will copy some important data to a backup folder in your local profile from where we will restore them after the upgrade. After this is done you just close the window and we can go on with the third step, downloading the newest version of iBunty. So here you just click OK and then the web browser will start directly with iBuntuOS.com where you can download the newest release. We recommend you get it from Google Drive like we do. After the download you continue with step 4, creating a bootable USB stick. This is only necessary if you have installed iBunty on your local hardware and not within a virtual environment. We recommend for this the tool Belena Etcher. Since this is version 1.0 of iBunty the homepage from where you can download it will come up after you click OK. From version 1.3 on Belena Etcher is already fully integrated and you will be able to start it directly from the launchpad like the iBunty update tool or timeshift backup. Inside Belena Etcher you just select at first the image you just downloaded in step 3. Then you select your USB device and then you click on Flash. That's all. Now we come to the most important step, the actual update of your system. For this we created a special tutorial with exact instructions which you can open by clicking the OK button. We recommend you to print it out so that you can follow it step by step to ensure you do everything exactly as we describe it so you won't lose your personal data during the update process. In this tutorial we will go through this process now together. So we reboot your system now with the earlier created boot stick with Ubuntu version 1.2 on it. When the boot menu of the USB drive appears we select direct install and let the installer start up. Here we just click through the first settings and also chose download updates while installing Ubuntu until we reach the point installation types. Now here we have to make absolutely sure that we chose something else as installation type since every other method will crash your system or delete your personal data. After a click on continue in the next window you select the partition where your current version of Ubuntu is installed. Mark it with a right click and chose the option change. A sub-window will appear and ask you how you want to use this partition. You have to choose the X4 file system and to define the slash as mount point. These settings will make this partition again to your main system partition. Be aware of leaving the format option unchecked. Again, do not select the option format the partition. It is absolutely necessary that you won't format your partition or you will lose all your data and will need your backup to recover your system. So leave this checkbox unchecked and if it's pre-selected then uncheck it. You really don't want to format this partition. When you proceed this message might appear. Just click continue. So at the end your configuration should look somehow like this. When you now want to proceed, 
The installer again is nagging and warning you that you didn't format your system partition. Just click on continue since this is exactly what we want to make sure our personal data and program settings won't get lost. Also you might see this warning, again just click on continue. After that the normal dialog from where you are should pop up. Fill in your time zone and continue. In the next step the installer want to create a system user. Make sure you chose your current system username. Like this you won't get into a mismatch with your current system settings since this user will replace your old one as main system user so you should make sure that the new system user is identical with the current one. Now, finally the installer will start to run. Just let the installer run through completely. At the end you might get hit by this error message. Don't worry, you can ignore this since everything we need to restore the Ubuntu update tool will do for us after we perform a restart. After the system has booted again you can check the current release to make sure your upgrade to the next version was a success. So here everything looks okay so far, but when we check now for our previously installed programs Adam, Audacity and Bracero we won't see them since they got removed during the update process. But don't worry, you will see all our settings are still there in the background and thanks to the Ubuntu update tool we now can bring back our manual installed stuff as easy as it could be. So we start the Ubuntu Update Manager and again it tells us it needs to install dependencies. This is because version 1.2 of Ubuntu also don't have the tool integrated by default so also the dependencies we installed before got lost during the update. If you will upgrade to version 1.3 and above this won't be an issue anymore since from that time on the Ubuntu update tool and all its dependencies will already be an integrated part of the operating system. So after we install the necessary dependencies again we just start the tool again and then select the final step, the restoring of our programs. Again a terminal will come up and asks us for our password since the tool will now reinstall all your snaps like Audacity and Deb file installated programs like the Atom text editor. And it will restore your manually added package sources and then will install all software packages you installed from them, like Bracero. So just be patient and wait until the terminal tells you that you can press any key to close it again. After that you just can close the Ubuntu update tool. So let's check. You see, here is the Atom text editor again. And after we open it we see it still in full screen size and with the bright theme we selected earlier. This means all your settings were restored too. The same goes for Audacity and Bracero. So that's it. Your upgrade was finished successfully and everything you added manually was restored. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and it was a big help for you. By the way, of course you could also use this tool for upgrading any other Ubuntu related system but we designed it especially to work with our own distribution so we can't support you if the tool won't work as described on other systems rather than our Ubuntu OS. But feel free to give it a shot since we didn't found any backup and restore solution which could backup snaps, sources, manually install deb programs and packages in just two steps, so we just created our own. We hope you appreciate this work also with this tutorial, it's quite a lot of work to get the Alexa voice act as the speaker of this video you can believe that. So if you like our work we would be glad if you subscribe us, test out our Ubuntu distribution and if you want just leave us a little Bitcoin donation. So long and thanks for all the fish.